Sellafield worker jailed after sharing offensive Facebook posts. This is Lee. I know Lee very well. I collaborated with Lee last year on YouTube on his conspiracy YouTube channel. We spoke about everything. Everything from the gold standard to the Federal Reserve to the Titanic and everything in between. Twin Towers. Everything. And Lee here has been imprisoned for four weeks. He's going to do four weeks in prison but he's been sentenced to eight. He's going to do half. And He's been sent to prison for sharing offensive Facebook posts. Now, these Facebook posts did not indicate anybody's religion. They did not indicate anybody's race. He shared three photos with titles and his opinions in these titles that didn't indicate anybody's race or religion or incite any violence. But he's been sentenced to eight weeks and he will do four. Now, I think personally that the fact that they've only given him eight weeks is an indication that they knew that this was he didn't do anything wrong, but they had to give him something because they didn't like his opinions. Now, I also have to state for myself here, I don't incite any violence, hatred, bigotry, nastiness, or anything like that. I respect all races and religions. And I also have to come out and say that the people that caused havoc during the riots across the UK, I completely 100% condemn those people. Anybody that stopped protesting and then started rioting and looting, those people deserve prison time. And I agree with that. A 51-year-old agreement man has become the latest person in the country to be jailed for posting racially aggravated online social media posts linked to national civil unrest. Don pleaded guilty to one offence. He admitted sending, by means of public electronic communications network, a message that was grossly offensive or of an indecent, obscene or menacing character. His crime occurred on July 30th and 31st and involved three shared Facebook posts. Prosecutor George Shady said Don had posted three separate images. The first one showed a group of men, Asian in appearance, at Egremont Crab Fair 2025 with the caption, Coming to a town near you. Now I have to state, any good defence solicitor will look at this and say, well he never gave a description on the people in the photo. So you can interpret that in, a, in any way, shape or form you like as the public. You can be unhappy with them sharing that photo with with that um, title coming to a town near you. But where the legality comes into this, in my opinion, is how he interprets this. Coming to a town near you can be interpreted any, any way. It just so happens that the authorities in England interpreted this in a negative way and prosecuted him accordingly. So where was his defence? Why did his defence not come in here and say, well, hold on, he hasn't pointed at anybody's race or religion. He shared a photo saying coming to a town near you. Under freedom of speech. That's legal. You're allowed to do that. He hasn't incited any violence, hatred, bigotry or nastiness. You may interpret it that way. But by law. He didn't do that. The second also showed a group of men. Asian in appearance. Leaving a boat on the Whitehaven beach. This said Mr. Shealy had the caption. When it's on your turf, then what? Once again, never pointed out a man's race, religion, or told anybody to create violence, or he never incited any violence. You may interpret it that way as the general public. You may even welcome these types of things. But under law, he never incited any violence, racism, bigotry, or hatefulness. So I'm struggling to understand here where they're getting their charges from and how they prosecuted him in the way they did. A final image showed a group of men, Asian in, in appearance, wielding knives in front of the Palace of Westminster. There was also a crying white child in a Union flag t-shirt. This was also captioned, said Mr. Shealy, with the wording, coming to a town near you. Now once again, he never, in his title or his, his own description, never pointed out anybody's race or religion. So the same logic applies to this one. You may be unhappy about this. You may be, you may even welcome the fact that he's been imprisoned. But under legal terms, he hasn't incited any violence, bigotry, nast nastiness or hatred. I, 
I'm actually on, trying to understand where the offence comes in here, how they how they take this as an offensive thing. So he hasn't pointed in, pointed out anybody's race or religion. Now, if he did do that, then I could understand, but he hasn't done that here. So they've taken, they've, they have said he has interpreted it this way, even though he, he could say, I didn't. But as it stands, he pled guilty to it because it's it's only eight weeks. He understood that this was lawfare, and he understood that, you know, it's only eight weeks and he's going to do four. And he just pled guilty to it anyway, just to, just to get the four weeks. I believe if he had a pled not guilty, then he would have got 12 weeks. So just plead guilty and get out in four weeks, because this guy is a productive member of society, has a job, he's, he's worked all his life, and he's got multiple jobs actually, and he, he benefits society. Cumbria Police had confirmed before the hearing that Dunn had been charged with posting offensive and racially aggravated content online. Now, I'm not a solicitor, right? I'm not a solicitor. But I've got common sense. How can something be racially aggravating if you haven't, if you have posted it and your title, your interpretation hasn't pointed out anybody's race or religion? You could look at the picture and say, well, I disagree with the picture. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you, right? I think it was really stupid of Lee to share something at such a heightened time of tension, right? If I, if I was speaking to him then, I would say, don't be, don't be posting that. Just don't be posting that, especially the way things are going, for the obvious reasons. But legally here, legally, he, he himself has seen these pictures, posted these pictures, and in his titles and in his own descriptions, has not pointed out anybody's race or religion or incited any violence. He's given his opinion. So the way I see this is, the fact that they only give him eight weeks, the fact that they were only ever going to give him 12 weeks, if he had a pled guilty, is an indication to me they wanted to give him something. They needed to give him something. Because he was there and they were cracking down on anybody sharing stuff online that they deemed undesirable. Now, speaking to Lee on a personal note, I spoke to this guy. This is a character reference, right? We're all flawed human beings. We all do things that are that are flawed. It doesn't matter about our race or religion. We're all flawed, right? Lee, when speaking to Lee, has never came out with any racial remarks. He's never came out with any homophobia or any of that. And he's told me he's worked with many different people from all different races and religions and has worked in many different fields involving different races and religions. One of the things that he was really, really unhappy about, however, was the fact that the Western governments seem to be not protecting their borders. And he was really unhappy with people that people are being persecuted for speaking up about this. People are being persecuted for asking for... Uh, stronger border security and stronger water security because in England a lot of these boys come in off the boats and if you speak up about this here you're persecuted against by the system. So my interpretation of this is he's unhappy about that, not about anybody's race or religion. We've lived in a multicultural multi multicultural society in England and Ireland for as long as I can remember. There's many people here of all different races and religions that benefit society, that are productive members of society. And in my opinion, I think what they've done to Lee here is called lawfare. They need, he was there, they cracked down on it, and they wanted to take, they wanted to take anybody down that was speaking up. Which is worrying because that is a clear breach, in my opinion, of freedom of speech. So I just have to say it once again, I don't incite any violence, hatred, bigotry, nastiness. Um, I respect all races and religions. So just a question for you, and I want you to ask this question to yourselves and answer it truthfully to yourselves. If Lee here had have shared a picture with a bunch of skinheads in the, in the picture and titled it Coming to a Town Near You, do you think he would be in prison right now? I don't think so. They wouldn't have even looked at that. What you need to understand, we need to live in a balanced society. If they're going to get at people for this, then they're going to have to get at others for, for a similar thing. And that's the dangerous road we're going down here.